Now let's go seeds. Now let's grow seeds. Okay, we are on a quest. Do you know that? You know what a quest is? We are looking for the easiest way to start seeds. What is it? We're gonna do something they call chitting today. What's chitting? That's a good question. Chitting is when you start seeds on wet paper towel instead of in dirt. Okay. Okay? So what we need to do this, we need paper towel, we need water, <laughs> we need Ziploc bags to put the paper towel they in. They have crayons in it. They do have crayons on the box, but we don't have crayons today. We need our seeds, yeah, and we need some labels and a marker. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some baggies out. We're going to fold some paper towel so that they'll fit into the baggies. Let's put them out. Okay. I will start with the paper towels. And these are the little nice half sheets. There's no ink on them, so I, that's why I like them to start seeds, but we generally go with the no ink ones anyway. And you pretty much want to fold it so that the towel will fit in the baggie. So I'm going to fold it another time. Okay. Should we start with the cauliflower seeds? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Put a little bit of seeds on the towel like that. Spread them out just a little bit like that. And then you spray this towel. So we got to aim it at the towel and spray it. And we're going to get this towel nice and wet all around. Okay, that should be good, I think. So then, what we're going to do, before I put it in the baggie, I'm going to get a label for this baggie. Because this was cauliflower. So we got our label. We're going to put a label on the plastic bag. So we got, ooh, damp towel in the bag. You can put it on the towel. There we go. Are there any others laying around? Um, no. No. Okay. Okay. So now we got our seeds on our towel. Set it somewhere aside to germinate. When they start germinating, we'll take tweezers and pull the started ones off and put it in soil. So this way cereal. you don't... <laughs> cereal. So we don't waste our containers for we, soil. We can. We don't want to waste our soil. Yes. <laughs> She likes to play with soil. But, and we also end up with uh, all germinated seeds in our soil box. Are you talking to your pretend friend? I'm talking to my friends on the camera. Uh, me and you? Yeah, we're talking to our friends on the camera. Oh. Yeah, they watch our videos. Me and you? Yeah, both of us. Do you see us both on the camera? Yeah. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The thing about this is it's a very small thing and you don't waste space with starting seeds. Uh, I have to put it in my hand now. Let me put it in your hand so we don't drop them all over the floor, okay? I'm going to push you on. Okay. So these seeds are broccoli seeds from the Living Seed Company which we have a link to their seeds down in the description below and a pinned comment and a 10% off coupon if you want to buy seeds from them this year or next year. Okay, we're gonna put them on the towel. A couple of them went rolling away. Okay. Now let's spray it. Now you spray the towel. And not my seed packet. Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some Time. Let's 
for autumn in the holes. In the holes. They're gonna grow anywhere on this paper they towel, can, though. They can put, let's put them in the holes, though. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we started a whole lot of seeds, didn't we? No, we just start thousands of seeds in baggies. Isn't that cool? We'll see if that works. Okay, so it's now about five days later and we have seeds sprouting. In fact, some of these seeds started sprouting two days after we put them on these paper towels. You could do a few different things with these sprouted seeds. You can use this just as a germination test for that matter. If you have some old seeds, you want to see if they're any good and what kind of germination rate you'll get. You could just toss a few on a paper towel and see if that, uh, if they germinated at all. But what we're going to do is we're going to put some, the whole paper towel in these pots. You could do some in soil blocks. You could multi-sew depending on what type of thing you're putting in there. You can multi-sew them so you don't necessarily have to separate one for one. Maybe you put three to five, depending on what you're putting in there, of different seeds in there. And of course you can use modules or other containers as well. So I have a few different examples of this setup. If you're putting some in the pots, you're going to need to separate them later but this will give you some saving on space and time if you need to immediately which we're going to do right now for I think our lettuces. What I'm going to do, this is my slow bolt lettuce. I'm just going to take this whole paper towel of sprouted seeds. Uh, we don't even have true leaves yet. These are just barely sprouting. A uh, little bit leggy going but that's all right. Pull that whole paper towel out and we're going to set it in this pot. Now I have the soil pre-moistened and then what we can do is just sprinkle, lightly sprinkle some soil on top of the paper towel around your seed starts. So I'm just sifting it in there, just give them a little extra soil to go with and then don't completely cover your seed starts, but this way they have some soil around their bases and then they'll poke through, they'll poke through that. And we will water this, sprinkle some water on top of this so for that extra soil to have some moisture there too. So we're not wicking moisture away from these plants, we're helping them grow. So you could also do this in soil blocks. Now if you're gonna do this, in soil blocks or into modules or any kind of containers. Still pull out your paper towel. And what you do is you can take individual plants off, use tweezers. You just want to make sure you're holding the, them by the leaves. You don't want to grasp their stems. You just pluck them off the paper towel. They are growing roots through that paper towel. so. A uh, little, the, hold on a little bit, but then you just stick the root part underneath the soil, and I usually just push some of the soil from the soil block around that root to hold it upright. Uh, and you can put it in you know, fairly deep. Now the nice thing about the soil blocks is that they were moistened to make the soil blocks. These modules will need to be pre-moistened. I poked holes in them so it's easier to get these pieces directly in here. And you could do small modules like you have on this side. I do have some larger modules over here. And I just put three holes so I could put multi sole some into the larger ones. So that's basically how you start seeds on paper towels and get them to germinate that way. It's a quick, easy way to get them to germinate to really know that you have germinated seeds and then transfer them into either pots or soil blocks or modules or directly into a garden bed if you are warm enough to do so. So I will do a comparison video down the road of starting directly in soil blocks versus modules versus direct seeding versus 
on paper towels in the future so if you are interested in seeing that video and for that matter I'll probably make a video on each one of those methods please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get your notifications for when those come up so I hope you enjoyed the show I will see you with your next video thanks for watching we'll see you with the next video bye, bye.